Zach Campbell, a man who collects baseballs like they're Infinity Stones, has amassed more than 11,000 baseballs since 1990, has several books on how to do it, a popular YouTube channel, and has caught some huge home runs. He has a business where you can pay him to go to a game with you where he guarantees you will get a ball or your money back. Conan O'Brien once called him the worst man in America and according to Hample can say throw me a baseball in over 30 languages just so he can speak to players in their native language to ultimately get more baseballs. Also have other ways of catching baseballs too. The players love to toss balls. If you like the foreign guys, if you ask them in their native languages, they relate better to that. Of course. So you've learned and how many languages can you say throw me a baseball? Over 30. Are you kidding? Oh, Spanish, dame la bola por favor. Japanese, Choto, Boro Nagate Kudasai. Korean, Kong Jisail. Turkish, Lutfen, Banabir Topa Tarmisen. Hebrew, Zrok, Lea Takadur, Bevakasha. German, Bitter, Geben Sie mir einen Ball. Sign language. Most notably, he caught Mike Trout's first Major League home run and Alex Rodriguez's 3,000th hit, which also happened to be a home run. However, he has also been called the, the most hated fan in baseball. Not a stranger to controversy, Hampel was widely criticized for refusing to give A-Rod's hit number 3,000 back to him. At the time, he wasn't sure on what he wanted to do with it first. All he knew immediately was that he wanted to go home with the ball that night. Everyone's favorite sports broadcaster, Mike Francesa, had this to say about it. And you know, uh, obviously big weekend with A-Rod getting his 3,000 hit and everything. Although I'll tell you one thing I just don't understand. Why would anybody give any publicity to a guy who catches the ball? You catch the ball, you want to keep it good, get lost. Why, don't, why does anybody care? And now they're gonna, this guy's going to give you, tell you what an art form it is to catch the baseballs? I mean, you got to be kidding me. Someone told me he wrote a book on how to catch baseballs? Really? I need someone to write a, you needed someone to write a book to tell you how to catch a baseball in the stands. Here's what you do. Buy a ticket and hope it lands on top of you. That's how you would catch it. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing what we now consider accomplishment in our society. Now that is an accomplishment that this guy catches baseball. Really? I mean, it's, it's, it's hilarious. I mean, why would anybody give this guy any publicity? If he wants to keep the ball, keep it. Goodbye. He even told Michael Kay during an in-game interview at Yankee Stadium that he was escorted to a cab by armed Yankee security after the catch. He spent two weeks thinking of what to do with the ball and eventually decided to give it back to A-Rod during a press conference for a $150,000 donation from the Yankees to a charity that donates youth baseball and softball equipment. Oh, and he got a signed jersey and bats from A-Rod himself. He also got an undisclosed amount of tickets to Yankee games, a VIP backstage tour of the stadium, and tickets to that year's All-Star Game and Home Run Derby. Just a few years later, he found himself in controversy yet again by attending a game meant for military personnel and their families only. The game was between the Marlins and Braves at Fort Bragg Stadium in North Carolina. It was the first ever regular season professional sports event ever to be held on an active military base. Hample went as far as making a Tinder account, yes, you heard correctly, a Tinder account where he claims he platonically was asking in his bio if anyone can help him get into the game. He said he matched with a bunch of people, uh, humble brag, who offered to help, but ultimately could not. Once Tinder shockingly did not work to help him get into the game, not sure how that could have happened, he turned to make a video on YouTube asking for help. However, at this point, he said he had heard soldiers weren't supposed to sell their tickets, so he wasn't offering money anymore. What finally worked was waiting for someone to maybe have an extra ticket he could grab and join them. Turns out a friend of a friend's girlfriend didn't want to go and Zach took her place at the game. Hample then posted on Twitter during the game a picture of a ball that was tossed over to him. He then tweeted a few minutes later that he decided to donate $100 for every ball he collected during the game towards a charity for military veterans. However, he was receiving so much backlash online that the hashtag things better than Hample trend did the same night of the game. Marlins man came after him on Twitter as well as the 82nd Airborne Division tweeting at Hample to delete his account. Somehow he got 11 balls that day, according to him mostly caught during BP and before the game, and to his credit, he did donate $1,100. He later then posted a lengthy apology on Twitter regretting everything and was promptly called out by a CBS sports writer saying that his apology boils down to I'm sorry, but I really wanted to go. And now here we are in 2022 with Hample trending yet again.
He posted a video on his YouTube channel as well as tweeting a ton about his lousy fan experience at Coors Field. This is John. John is an usher at Coors Field. Zach is pretty upset in his video and has since doubled down because John told him to stay in his seat and stop running around. Alright, it's a home run ball. I'm gonna go for a, I'm gonna go for a home run ball. Come on. Don't be that strict. That's ridiculous. Telling me I can't move 10 feet for a home run is ridiculous. Stop enforcing BS rules that you make up on the spot. It's a home run ball. People can try to catch a home run. Hample predictably gave pushback and recorded the entire interaction. He was then approached by what I would imagine is Coors Field security, and he also recorded that. Okay, so let's take a step back and imagine this from John's perspective. You have to admit, it's pretty unusual for a grown man to be running around with a glove in a stadium like Hample does, and John may have never seen anything like that before. If you've ever seen any of Hample's videos, he's always on the move, very rarely actually sitting down, even running from left field to right field and back during innings. He's also gone for some balls in what some would consider aggressive manners. No, I'm not saying he's pushed kids, relax. But he's gonna get to where he believes he needs to be to catch another ball. I'm sure John probably saw this over and over throughout the game, him running back and forth and thought somebody was eventually going to get hurt and possibly a kid. So now, do you allow that to maybe happen and then be questioned, possibly lose your job in this economy? I mean, I don't think there's many MLB stadiums close to Coors Field where he could just get another job doing usher work. Or do you play it safe and tell the guy to sit down and chill out for the rest of the game? Yeah, a lot of the feedback I've seen online has been overwhelmingly supporting John the Usher. Nobody really thinks he did anything wrong. Not surprisingly, uh, Hample hasn't had the best online defense by Major League players. Marcus Stroman weighed in on the situation at Coors Field and tweeted out to Hample, calling him the definition of a clown. To which Hample responded, but at the end of it he puts a little kissy face, and eh, that's a little bit trolly for me, but it was an invitation for Stroman to join him at a game, just to see if he could change his mind on him, which Stroman pretty much said no to. Back in 2017, Hample asked Clayton Kershaw to give him a ball, which Kershaw also said no to because he already has 7,000 of them. Hample, not one to let off the gas, then said it's because it's a special Father's Day ball and it would be important to him. Kershaw then rejected him again, saying no, it wouldn't. Hample then tweeted out, by that logic, Kershaw's next paycheck shouldn't mean that much to him. Take that as you will. So, that's what happened. What are your thoughts? See you in the next video. Later.